Hey folks, welcome back to another video and yes, this is the announcement for the real-time DevOps interviews. I know you have been waiting for this since quite uh, since quite some time because uh, I had to take them down and now I'll be uh, working on all those videos which I took in the last year uh, and all the questions I'll be uh, preparing on. So this time these questions would be with answers and I have already started working on them and I have started curating the list of all those questions which I asked or has been asked because I think I posted my interview as well in that uh, I gave a machine test if I remember it correctly. So I've already started working on that and this is a huge announcement for all those people who have been waiting uh, for those questions uh, which we face in a real time DevOps scenarios uh, for Terraform, for, uh, for Jenkins, for any other tool, Kubernetes, Docker and everything that you can name it. I've been posting about Ansible and every other tool that you can talk about. Okay, so uh, this is the major announcement that I wanted to do today and I hope uh, you all will keep your support with me. I'll be answering all the questions uh, and uh, I, as I said that I have already started curating that list. Okay, so this is something I wanted to share with you folks. So this is the first video in the list and uh, probably by end of this week I will post my first video and then keep on posting by after two days, three days, four days, five days. I'll be posting the video okay so keep your support with me and this time uh, it'll be all me also one very interesting thing about this series these videos is this time I'm going to post a difficulty level for example if I'm asking the basic questions I'm going to rate them on a level of the question asked and on the thumbnail I'll write basic advanced or medium so that if you're preparing for the advanced one you can go for the advanced one if you're preparing for the basic ones you have just started taking interviews at a fresher level or one or two years of experience level you can get it right away so you don't have to confuse and this will save a lot of time and won't waste any time all right all right so uh, yeah that would be all about it and again uh, thanks for all the support thanks for all the love that you have folks given me and do subscribe the channel do hit that like button share with it with your friends who are starting their career in devops and cloud who are preparing for devops interviews so that they can learn about the recent questions about the recent trends in it with related to devops and cloud all right so folks uh, i would love uh, that if you can comment down below for the support so that it can reach a lot of more people so guys stay tuned and let's get started